In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brother and sister, fraternal greetings to you from the Carmelite Fathers and warm welcome to Carmel Light, reflection on the day's readings. It's the 14th of June, Friday of the 10th week in ordinary time. Today, we remember Blessed Maria Candida of the Eucharist, a Carmelite virgin. And we mark World Blood Donor Day. Let's pay attention to the Gospel text of the day. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5, verses 27 to 32. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. For it is better that you lose one of your members than that your whole body be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. For it is better that you lose one of your members than that your whole body go into hell. It was also said, Whoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you, that everyone who divorces his wife except on the ground of sexual immorality, makes her commit adultery, and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. Pluck out an eye, cut off a hand. Imagine how the disciples' jaws must have dropped when Jesus said this. His point, however, wasn't that self-mutilation is a necessary step to holiness. It's that God craves our holiness. The purity and faithfulness that he intends for us is worth more even than a sound whole body. God has called you after all to be holy as he is holy. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 15 Jesus' life in you his holiness is a treasure you carry within yourself. And so, he says, if something threatens that holiness, get rid of it. Throw it away. It's better to do without something than to have it and to sin because you do. A book or magazine, a picture or movie if lust rises up because of it, discard it. Thoughts that lead you to sin, turn away from them. Don't entertain them. But holiness is not just about cutting things out of your life. There are other ways you can preserve and foster holiness. Pick up the scriptures and read. Maybe the story of Jesus' death or a passage that declares your worth in God's sight. 
write a note to remind yourself that you are created in God's way in righteousness and holiness of truth. Sit quietly in prayer and ask the Lord to show you something about the depth of his love for you. Remember too that God earnestly desires you to be holy and so he is intent on reaching out to help you. So when you are facing temptation and the allure of sin, cry out to him. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you his grace and to help you grow in the fruit of self-control. And if you do fall to temptation, don't despair. God still loves you. No distance, no depth of sin is ever beyond his reach. He is always ready to forgive you, even if you commit the same sin again and again. Never hesitate to run to him. He will shower you with his mercy and the grace to live a holy life. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, help me to be holy as you are holy. Amen. The psalm, my dear friends, picks up on Elijah's desire to see the presence of God with the refrain, It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. The verses of Psalm have such phrases as, Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Let's pray that Psalm now. Your response, It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer me. Of you my heart has spoken. Seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face from me. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray for God's blessing now. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you remember today, all those who are celebrating their birthdays, especially Carol Rodriguez from Abu Dhabi, Philip Fernandez from Kumta Doni Halla, Edna Lavita de Souza from Karkala Nakre, Errol Sikvera from Doha, Qatar, Macklin Lawrence Carlo from Agrar, Vinci de Souza from Belmont, presently in Miraro. Wish you all a happy birthday. God bless you. And we pray for the departed soul of Florin de Souza from Kuntibail, Karkala. Feming Francis de Mello from Borivili, Mumbai. May the Lord grant them eternal rest. That's all for today, my dear friends. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.